Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. Happy Pride Month. Today, guys, I'm really excited because I'm actually sitting down to film a makeup tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a while. And in today's video, I'm really excited because I'm actually playing and trying out a brand new palette, a new brand to me. So the palette we are going to be playing with is from Nomad Cosmetics. This is what the palette looks like. This is their Paradise palette. I also did pick up the Whistler Snow Lodge palette, but I do want to just put that aside and focus on this palette. Just because you know I love colours and you know I love greens and blues and this palette is screaming my name. So I really just want to focus on this palette today. So this is the palette that I use today to create the look that you can see here. I did use my friend's code, Alicia Budget Beauty's code, which is Budget Beauty, all in caps locks, and that does save you 10% off, which I will leave in the description. So you guys can use that code to save you some money. And I will also leave Alicia Budget Beauty's channel down below, all her information. She has Instagram, TikTok, and um, a YouTube channel, so I will link all that down below. I will also link her video down below of her using this palette and her review of it. And I actually got introduced to this brand by Ali Dawson. She did review a few of these palettes on her YouTube channel, which I will link down below as well. So you guys can watch a couple of videos and see people's reviews on these palettes and also what looks they created as well. And guys, because my videos are always really, really long, let's just get straight into makeup tutorial, shall we? Let's get straight into it. I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight into the shade Tiki, which is this lime green matte shade. We've got the um, shimmer version of that, which I will be using because you know me, I love those types of shades. So we're just gonna go into the um, inner corner with that shade and just place it right here. Oh my God, guys, look how pigmented that is. Actually, I should um, bring the camera in a bit closer. All right, guys, so the camera was a little far away, so I did bring it in so you could really see what I'm doing on my eyes. Then I'll zoom it out when I'm doing the rest of my face and makeup and everything like that. But that shade there is laying down really, really nicely. I love green shades, I love blue shades, so this palette really spoke to me. Now, they do have quite a few other products on their website, which eventually I want to try some of their highlighters, some of their smaller palettes. They are actually teasing a new release. Um, palette wise coming soon so I might actually pick up some of their other products when I pick up their new palette just because I fall in love with the shades that they've already teased and I really want to um, support this brand a bit more especially since this brand actually does give back to a lot of organizations this palette here actually gives back to the baby coral organization and there's also the sea turtle um, organization that, that they actually give part of the proceeds of the sales from these palettes too so I think that's amazing and again they are um, completely recyclable no plastic used in these palettes at all. Vegan, cruelty free. Guys, this shade is stunning, so, so pretty. Now there is a little fallout in the pan, um, but nothing wrong with that. A lot of um, palettes that I have actually have fallout and like I said, nothing wrong with that. It's just sometimes it happens with matte shades, but yeah, this, this shade is stunning. Really, really pretty. All right, guys, I am back and I've done both eyes with that shade Tiki. And I just want to mention, I have like a little bit of a darker spot here and I don't know what that is. It's right here. And I'm looking in the mirror right here in front of me and also in my hand mirror. And I've tried to pack on as much of that green shade to hide that darkness. And it just seems to be a, not patchy, but it's just like, it's darkened up. I don't know if the shade's oxidized. I don't think that ever actually does that. It might have just been because my um, eye primer was still tacky there when I applied it. Um, but yeah, I want to quickly mention that because on this side there's nothing. This side, it's just right there. It almost looks like there's a black shade mixed into it. And this is a clean brush, so it's not that. But yeah, I'm still really happy with the shade. I really do like to focus on my blend. So um, that was just something that I noticed and I wanted to mention. Other than that, I really like this palette so far. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually go into this... Ooh. I kind of want to go into the dark green, this one here. This is really pretty, this dark green. So I'm just going to pack that on, on the outer edge. Wow, that is really, really pigmented. And I might do I might do a slight wing, I don't know yet. But maybe today I might do something different. Look how pretty that is. That's blended out really nicely already. And I'm just packing it on and just tapping it. I'm not even blending really. Wow, that is really pretty. Oh, I am loving this formula so far. Look at that. That's just blended itself. Ooh, this palette is beautiful. And the shades, I mean, I've only used the matte so far, but the mattes are, like, as you can see, are blending out nice. 
really pigmented, they're not just blending away to nothing. Sometimes mattes lay down really nicely, but then when you blend, they just blend to nothing. But this formula doesn't seem to be doing that, which is great, because we always do like to get our money's worth. Now, I think I spent $86 on these two palettes, then I had to pay $25 shipping. So all up, it was about $110. So not too bad um, for these two palettes. And I mean, you're supporting an indie brand, which I love. God, that green is so pretty. That is so pretty. All right, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. It's actually really blending with that light green really nicely. I thought it might be too dark. I usually have to spend like 10 minutes just trying to blend those two lines, or I just put a shimmer over it because I'm too lazy to blend. But that that's blended itself. So, so pretty. All right, I'm going to do the other eye, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I am back, and I've done both eyes with that dark green shade Lizard which is stunning. I did do a slight wing just because I thought, well, you know, I haven't done a wing for a week, so let's do one. Um, and I really like the way it's blended out. Obviously, I've cleaned up with foundation, but so far, so good. That shade blends out really, really nicely. I just love how deep and rich it is. Um, now we're going to go into the shimmers, and I'm, I'm a little... Like, I want to play with all the shimmers, but I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with this lime green shimmer here really pretty in the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to then go in with this blue shimmer here, which is stunning. That's the shade Shark. Let's get into that. I'm going to use my fingers because that's what I always apply my shimmers with. That's just the way I've always liked doing it. These, oh my God, these shimmers are so creamy. This shade Fishy is just so creamy. I want to put that right here. God, hopefully you can still see that that is stunning hopefully you can see it against that bright light green matte but yeah i mean i can see it hopefully the camera will look how pretty that is and i really think the inner corner pink will just go really nice with this i don't know what i'm doing in the bottom lash line so far that is stunning very little fallout on my face which is okay i always do my eyes first just for that reason but wow that is so so pretty now this shade of fish is so soft i actually have to be quite careful when i dip my finger into it because it's i'm actually um picking up quite a lot of product in the pan and it's almost it almost feels like putty it's that soft but wow the payoff stunning absolutely stunning all right guys i'm really happy with that now we're going to go into the shade shark and we'll do the other eye but i just want to go in with the blue shade first and just place that on the outer corner and again, very, very buttery when I put my finger into the pan. Wow, that is so pretty. Now, guys, I will go in with that dark green shade as well and clean up the edges and kind of blend where the harsh lines meet, which is a very quick process to do. You just get a little bit of shimmer and matte mixed together with those two shades on a fluffy brush and just tap it on. And that just blends it together really, really easily. I'm just adding a bit more because I want to basically make it half and half. Wow, look how pretty that is. Oh! I'm so happy with that. I'm so, so happy with that. I have gone a little higher than what I wanted with the um, shimmer shade. So I will just go in with the fluffy M506 brush, which is from Morphe, just because I already did the wing with that. And I just want to go over that shimmer and just blend a little bit away because I don't want it to be all the way up into the eyebrow, that shimmer. I want to keep on to the actual eyelid itself. All right, guys, I'm really happy with the way it looks. And I was thinking of putting that shade Whale in the center and I just... I don't think I need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'm going to do the other eye off camera with the shimmers. And I'll do my base and everything like that. And I'll come back and we can finish off this look. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. I am back. And this is where we are. The base is on. Foundation, concealer, blush, setting powder, all that type of stuff. I've even done highlighter. Oh, this highlighter is stunning. And the highlighter I used was this little palette here. My sister got this for me in a mystery box that she created from... Amazon products. I actually have that video um, up live now. If you want to know what other products I got, I will link that video down below. But that highlighter is stunning. I mean, oh, so pretty. I'm really happy with that. Let's get into the actual bottom lash line. So what I've decided to do is I'm actually going to go in with this purple matte shade and then this deep blue um, matte shade as well and just do the bottom lash line. So I'm going to put the purple, which is the shade C shell, um, in the inner corner bottom lash line and then on the outer corner I'm going to do that deep blue shade. And I'm just going to get an actual, yeah, we'll go with this brush. This one here from Morphe. I'm just going to dip into the purple, which like I said is um, a C shell and run that along the bottom lash line. It's almost a pastel shade, so it's not as pigmented as, say, the green 
Zai, it's right there. So I will have to probably build that up quite a lot. Because I want you to be able to see it. And then in the water line, I'm thinking of doing a hot neo yellow liner. Because I think yellow is going to look really pretty with this green. That purple is not as pigmented as what I'd like. But it's there. It's there. I am going to put a little bit of shimmer on the top. Which will enhance the purple as well. Alright, so that purple is done. Let me just do the other eye quickly. Then we'll get in with the blue. I will probably use the same brush. So I'm just going to do the purple first. And then I can use the blue after. And it will just help blend the mats together if I use the same brush. Ooh, okay, so it's not... This purple is very, very light. It's almost a pastel. Not my favourite. I love a really deep, rich purple. But it's still pretty. It's still pretty. Alright guys, and now we're going to go in with the blue... And just put that on the outer corner. I'm just basically stamping it on. I don't want too much fallout because it's very hard to get blue off the base if there is any fallout. So I'm just going ever so gently. This is quite a deep, rich blue as well, which is very nice. I love that color combination. It's probably not the best with the green above it, but I've done it now, so we're just going to continue. I just want to use as many colors as possible. All right guys, so both shades are blended out really nicely. I'm actually gonna go in with this shade Whale, which is this one here. It's quite um interesting because when I swatch it, it's almost, mm, I don't know, it's almost holographic. I did swatch the pink one of that version as well in this palette, which is the shade Bora Bora. Um, I think I'll put that in the inner corner as a highlighter, but this one here, I might actually run um, along the bottom lash line over the purple and the blue, and just use that to enhance the um, matte shades. So I'm gonna spray my brush like I always do. Just another Morphe packing brush. I'm just gonna dip the very end of this into the shade Whale, and just run that along the bottom lash line as well. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Alright guys, I'm really loving the way that looked. I just ran it along the bottom lash line. I haven't put the liner in my waterline because I might do that off camera because I always hold my breath and pull funny faces just because I'm concentrating so much. Um, so I'll do that off camera when I put the lashes on, but I think we definitely need an inner corner highlighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in... I mean, I love these shades here. These ones here are really pretty. I haven't used them. The shade sun is like a pink um, shimmer, and then we've also have the shade moon, which is like an orange um, coral shimmer. I don't know. I don't know if the orange will go good as an inner corner, but I think the pink shade sun will. So we're going to go in with that, and then if I need to, I will top it off with this shade here, which is the shade Bora Bora. So I'm just spraying my brush like I always do when I do an inner corner highlighter on these little packing brushes. I'm going to go into the shade sun. Got a lot of product there, and just tap it on right there. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. I think that was the correct shade to put in the inner corner. That is really pretty. I'm just also dragging a little bit across the bottom lash line as well in the inner corner. Just so you can really see that pink. Oh, that's pretty. I really like that. I am going to dip into the shade Bora Bora because that's like a holographic pink. And just place it on top of that pink. Oh, look at that. That's like more holographic on this side now. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but definitely in person. I can see a bit of a change. So I'm gonna do the same on this eye. Oh, that's made a pop. Oh, that's pretty. All right, guys, and that is the eyes done. I'm really loving the way that looks. That is so pretty. I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna put a liner in my waterline. I'm gonna put some lashes on, a lip on, and I'll come back and I'll tell you my final thoughts on this palette. All right, guys, I am back, and this is the finished look. I'm actually feeling really, really pretty. I am loving the green eyeshadow. I went in with the nude lip, which I love, and then I also did um, top it off with the um, Luna Beauty um, lip gloss in the shade Cien, Sienna. I think that's the shade. And then for the waterline, I went in with this yellow liner from um, LA Girl. This is their Neo liner. I don't know what the shade name is because I just can't be bothered getting the plastic completely off. But that's the shade there, and I put that in the waterline. And it's my first time trying it, and I actually really like this product. It's probably not 
as good as the ColourPop um, gel liners that I like to use. I just don't have a yellow one, so I tried this one. And it's nice and pigmented, which I like. And then for the lashes, I just went in with some wispy lashes from Kiss. They're not overly dramatic. All the dramatic ones that I usually use, um, I've actually um, run out of. So these are the ones I went with. And they're very nice and comfortable to wear. I like um, Kiss lashes. They always apply really nicely for me. And guys, that is my face done. Let's talk about this palette. I, first of all, love this palette. I love the packaging. It is completely um, made out of cardboard, so it's really good for the environment. I love that it's got a really good mirror, and then all the shades are very, very pretty. I absolutely love the matte formula and the shimmer formula. They are both really, really pretty. I love the almost holographic shades they also have in here. Um, Bora Bora and Whale, they are really, really pretty. I just love vibrant colors. So this is going to be one of the ones that I can see myself reaching for all the time. I am going to be playing with the Whistler palette, which I have right here. And then they also do have a new palette coming, which I'm really excited for. This is the Whistler palette. Color story is on the back. Love these blues. So I can't wait to play with this one and just dive more into this brand. But with that, this is probably a very long video. All my makeup tutorials are so... I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and also check out my Instagram and TikTok because I do post a lot of things on there that I don't film. Until next time, guys, stay safe and I will see you later. All my love. Bye.